हेलो गाइस दिस योर बॉय अली सोलंकी एंड टुडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल द रिसोर्स दैट यू विल रिक्वायर इन योर फर्स्ट ईयर ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग दीज रिसोर्स विल इंक्लूड बुक्स वेबसाइट्स एंड आल्सो सम अमेजिंग यूट्यूब चैनल्स दैट आई हैव पर्सनली यूज ड्यूरिंग माय फर्स्ट ईयर ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड एज आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू कैन स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर फर्स्ट ईयर राइट अवे Before I start I would like to remove a major misconception from you guys today and that is that CGPA doesn't matter at all once you enter the college there will be many seniors who would tell you that maintaining a good CGPA is not at all required or you are just wasting your time in focusing on your CGPA I'll tell you why they are saying that and why they are not entirely wrong The reason behind it is many companies today will recruit you especially if you're from the engineering background even if you don't have a degree and they don't care about your cgpa at all if you don't even mention it in your cv then that's perfectly fine for them but this holds true only for off campus placements and you need to have a very strong portfolio and a bunch of projects under it or anything that separates you from others which the company can utilize directly if not then it really becomes very tough for you to get an off campus placement Now moving back to on campus placements to understand why CGPA is very crucial here you need to look at it from the company's perspective they don't have the time to conduct a one on one interview or even go through everyone's resume what they instead do is select a particular CGPA below which students would not be eligible to apply for their company this helps the company to filter out many students i'll give you an actual example based on my seniors experiences a very big company i would not name it here but it starts with micro and it ends with soft it comes to our college and like most other companies has a fixed cgpa below which it does not take students in let's say it is 8.5 cgpa and by the way that is actually pretty close to what they keep in reality but you're a student having 8 cgpa currently and have performed well in other aspects and have a better cv than all your peers but it doesn't matter you won't even be eligible for applying in the company just because of your cgpa and that was just for placements if you want to pursue higher studies then cgpa is the first thing that is looked at so make sure you maintain a very good cgpa and if you don't then i wouldn't call it wrong but instead i'd say that you're taking a very big risk so that's why please do not fall for all of these excuses that cgpa doesn't matter because it really does Now we can never say when the colleges will restart like before and when you will be able to go there physically so instead of wasting this crucial time of yours you can start studying right away and get a boost when the college actually opens up also if you were preparing for JE or any other entrance test most of the concepts that you will learn in your first year of engineering will overlap that syllabus so make sure that you retain those concepts with you Apart from that you will also face a new challenge and that is no one will be there to tell you what to study. College requires an immense amount of self motivation without which you won't be able to score great marks. Also you yourself would have to ask your seniors or your friends about all the books, syllabus and notes and if you're shy in asking for help then no one will come to help you out of it. Trust me almost all the seniors would love to help you and guide you. So ask for help As for previous years notes and exam papers because we seniors are anyways going to throw it out. Also usually on the first or the second day of your college you will get the syllabus and a list of all the books that you can use for reference. A quick disclaimer do not buy any of it. Yes none of those books are needed to be bought. I'm not only speaking to the people who want to just pass the exams but also to those who want to score 10 pointers. Now I'm not saying that books are not required at all but I will get to this part later. If you genuinely want to start studying right away, ask your seniors for notes. Now there are mostly two types of notes. One which your seniors themselves would have made and it will be in their handwriting and unless he or she is good at maintaining notes, you'd find some parts of it missing, some of it not readable and it won't be the best place to learn from. However, they would also have notes given to them by their teachers. Now these are the notes that you should be looking for. These notes are usually evergreen. 
what i mean by this is that they are being used by the last five six batches for the same subject so try to get these notes and if you get the pdf of them then consider yourself quite lucky now after talking about the notes let's also talk about the subjects and the resources that is books and youtube channels that you can learn from as for the subjects the first year is common for all the branches there is no specialization and only after the second year you start to specialize in your respective branches and the syllabus starts to differ also before i start to list down all the resources i'd like to tell you all how i and most other people in their colleges study we focus more on topics rather than choosing an entire book to guide us in a particular subject that's why they are reference books you can refer to them for any doubts or queries but in the end to learn everything about a particular topic you will need to utilize all the resources together like searching it up on youtube reading different reference books and the most important part is reading the notes given to you by your teachers so let's finally talk about the various subjects and their resources the first subject is engineering drawing or ed that all of you would have in your first year of engineering as the name suggests it has drawing in it but not the one that we are accustomed to here all the drawings that you make need to be accurate to a single millimeter otherwise you can expect your cgpa to go down because of this one subject depending on your college apart from drawing on paper this subject also deals with autocad now autocad is a software that is used to make such precise mappings i'll be honest with you i mostly didn't like this subject much mainly because it used to be that one subject I just couldn't get enough marks in no matter how hard I tried. Also here I wouldn't recommend you to read any books. Rather you can visit Manas Patnaik's YouTube channel. He has an entire playlist dedicated to this subject. If you ask any of your seniors about his channel, chances are they already know it and have aced their exams just due to him. After that comes mathematics. Here you will mainly be dealing with applied mathematics. The book that I and many of your seniors would have used is Applied Mathematics by G. V. Kumbhajkar. You can go with H. C. Taneja as well, or even with Engineering Mathematics by B. S. Grewal. All of these books are very good, and these will stay with you not only for your first year but also for your second and third year as well, depending on your branch. You don't need to learn all the topics from it, so make sure that you get the syllabus before starting to read these books. Almost all of your college libraries will be having these books, and you can issue them free of cost from these libraries instead. Or you can also buy second-hand books, which are sold at much cheaper prices at almost all the bookstores. The advantage with this is that you will get all the important parts of the book highlighted already but yes it will be at the cost of the quality of it as well as for the youtube channel for mathematics i'd recommend you to search for particular topics rather than going with one channel only the next subject is physics so here as well you'd be learning applied physics a textbook for applied physics by ak jha is one of the best ones out there The channel that I'd recommend is Last Minute Tuitions. It's a pretty good channel especially for the first year students and you'd find almost everything there. I personally never learned anything from YouTube especially for physics and that is mainly because the stuff that will be taught to you in the first year would be quite easy especially as I said if you were preparing for your JE exams. But yes, I did have to refer to notes and those notes were way more than enough for the subject. So it really depends on your other resources and once you find something that suits you then stick to it. Like for me reading through well compiled notes or youtube videos is much easier than reading reference books. So it really depends on what you're comfortable with. Next is chemistry. So yeah, you also have chemistry as a subject in the first year. If you have gone through NCERT textbooks of chemistry for 11th and 12th, then engineering chemistry will be like a cake walk to you. As for the books, I'd recommend Engineering Chemistry by Jen and Jen and also Applied Chemistry by Techmax. Chemistry was one of those subjects where even if I didn't read much I used to score pretty decent marks in but remember to focus your energy on the practicals because those will surely determine your marks in this subject as for the youtube channel trust me you don't need the backup from anything else on this subject if you study from the books I've just mentioned and revise your notes thoroughly it should be more than enough to get very good marks in this subject now let's talk about electrical engineering The subject would be called B Triple E or Basics of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. The books I'd recommend for this subject are Electrical Engineering by B L Thareja, 
now this is one of those subjects where no matter how hard you try you get average or slightly above average marks only it can be compared to those language subjects back then where no matter how hard you try you will never get full marks as for the youtube channel uh, ekeda is one of the best ones in the subject so you can refer to it the next subject comes down to a programming language almost all the colleges in their first year teach c language and then it branches out to maybe python or java in the second year so for c programming i never learned anything from books and i would recommend that you don't either this is because once you get into the computer domain there are a lot of changes happening over the years and documenting it in a physical format is most likely to be outdated pretty soon so instead as for the youtube channel i would recommend one channel and a playlist with around 71 videos if i'm not wrong the channel that you can learn from is jenny's lectures cs/it it's one of those channels whose videos i still watch if i get stuck on some basic concept Other than that the playlist that I was talking about is by Naresh I Technologies. It's one of the best ones out there so I highly recommend you all to check it out. The last subject is engineering mechanics. The recommended book for this would be the one by PK Nag. This subject has a lot of other books for reference so I'll just be flashing a list of all the books that you can refer to so you can pause it and note all of these books down. Apart from this if you are looking for a YouTube channel to learn the subject from then I would recommend Last Moment Tuitions for this again. Also if you are still watching this video then you obviously have liked it so please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. It gives me immense motivation to continue making these videos for you guys. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.